Today's video, we'll be working on an AC that is not working. Here, we're gonna need access to the contactor. Depending on your condensing unit, the setup may be different. So you'll just have to remove whatever panel is necessary to get you access to your contactor. Now what I'm gonna do is, is what I always recommend to my technicians when working on ACs is, we're gonna manually engage this contactor by pushing this button right here. Now once we push that button in, I want to see if my condenser unit will turn on. So I did hear the compressor turn on, my fan motor turned on. So here I'm at the thermostat. It's already set to cool and auto. It was already set to this position when I came to look at the thermostat. You can see here the cool is blinking. Now at this point, I know that I have a low voltage issue. The reason is, once I set my thermostat to cool and auto, that should send a signal to my contactor. So that button that I push with my finger should have already been engaged because this is set to the cool and auto position. So right now I'm gonna pull this cover and I'm gonna check the voltage reading coming from my thermostat. So here I have my multimeter and it's on the power coming in, 24 volts on the R terminal. And here I'm on the yellow terminal, which is gonna be my condensing unit. And you can see that I do not have voltage coming in. Here, I'm gonna check my voltage at my contactor. This is my low voltage. And I do not have voltage coming in. This is my line coming in. So I have my voltage, 235 volts, coming into my contactor. So we're having an issue on my low voltage side. So here I pulled my lead coming off of my R terminal. This is my lead coming from my Y terminal. And basically I'm gonna try to jump it. If I tap these two wires, my condenser unit should turn on. And right now I can, the condenser unit is like right outside the window. Now I don't hear any power going to my condensing unit. So at this point, I am losing power coming down from my furnace board to my thermostat. Here, I set it to cool and auto, and now I'm gonna go troubleshoot at my furnace board. So here, I'm at my furnace. My board's gonna be inside. Here we have a little sight glass. This is gonna allow us to look at the actual LED light that turns on and off. And so basically when you look on there, you should be able to determine what codes or what faults are coming up on the furnace board. I'm gonna remove this panel so that I can get access to the board. Once you remove this panel, you're going to have to manually engage this switch. This will bypass the actual panel that's on here, and this will allow you to kind of see and troubleshoot the board uh, so that you, ha you, you won't have any restrictions when you're putting your multimeter probe and working on it. Just be careful when you're working on this board. There is uh, going to be power, both uh, 120 volt and low voltage wiring. So just be very careful when you're working on your system. I took some electrical tape and I wrapped it around my safety switch. And this is going to allow me to just come over here and just kind of work on this board. Um, just be careful, be careful, as I said, because right now I'm tricking the system into thinking that this panel is on. When you remove this panel, this safety switch will actually uh, disengage and it will kill the power to your board. Or, I mean, obviously the board is lit, so I know that I do have low voltage coming in from my transformer. This is my transformer in the back. I have my voltage coming in, 120 volts. That's going to be the black and the white lead you see right there and then I have my blue and my red that's going to be my low voltage wiring you can see there on the transformer if you're unsure secondary 20 volt and then it shows your blue and your red right there if you lost power to your board if you didn't have any power coming to this board it would most likely going to be uh, issue with your transformer. So here I'm going to pull my wires and you can see once I pulled my wires from my transformer my LED light is no, lo lo no longer flashing. That's because right now my board doesn't have any power coming in. So here I just put my multimeter, my probes 
going inside both leads. So here you can see that I do have 24 volts coming from my transformer. So right now at least we've eliminated the issue of the problem coming from the transformer itself. At this point, we're just going to reconnect our two leads. Once I did that, you can see that the LED light is flashing. So that's telling me that my board is getting 24 volts. Right now, I'm just checking my low voltage wiring. And I've checked all the terminals. And you can see here, I am not getting any voltage coming to my low voltage wiring on my terminals. Now, I'm going to remove the power to my system. So here, I have an outlet. This is basically supplying my 120 volts going into my system. You may have something that's a switch. Go ahead and turn that switch off. But on this one, we're going to pull the power. And you can see here, my board is no longer lighting. So I do not have power going to my furnace. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to inspect our fuse. So here, I've removed the fuse. And you can see that the fuse blew see the black in the middle and then my little coil going down popped At this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug back in the power going to my furnace and then I want to take my multimeter where the fuse was and I want to see what kind of voltage we have coming in to our board now remember if you do not have your thermostat set to auto or cool or to heat um, it, it's not going to get a proper reading. So we're going to plug it back in. And now I'm going to take my multimeter and I'm going to test these two probes. I'm trying to get a reading of 24 volts. Here I have my leads where my fuse was. And here is my voltage reading. I have 26.8. So anything between 24 and 28 should suffice. So right now at this point I'm going to replace the fuse. And we're going to uh, basically diagnose the system and see if it runs. So we're going to unplug our power coming in. My replacement fuse. So here the system is running. The blower motor kicked on. I do hear the refrigerant bubbling over. And I did inspect my condenser unit it is running and right now before I leave I just want to check my voltage here on my common to my Y terminal which is going to be for my uh, condensing unit and just make sure that we're getting the proper voltage there so here I have one on my common one terminal is on my Y terminal which is my yellow wire and here I do have a reading of 25 volts if this video was a help if it was informational Please subscribe.